Okay, um, what I'm going to do is to show how to take apart the Canon 50mm f1.4 uh, Leica thread mount lens. This is a very nice uh, lens from the 1950s for uh, Leica M cameras. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I'm just going to show how easy it is to take it apart and uh, for cleaning or lubrication. Uh, okay, so here goes. <coughs> so for the very first step, um, the lens actually comes in two parts. There is the the front, uh, the front uh, lens element and the rear lens element. So um, the front lens element, what you need to do is you can see there's a very tiny screw here. Can't see if you can tell, but it's a very very tiny screw here. You need to remove this first. And once you remove it, you can then unscrew this black thing here, this black part here, counterclockwise, and it will come off. So the front element will come off. For the rear lens element, what you need to do is to um, actually here, there is this um, round uh, thing here that you need to, to turn it open. I've already loosened it, and that's the reason why it's, it's easy to turn. But basically, you need to turn this thing. And until it comes off, and then you can pull out the rear lens element. So I'm going to demonstrate it now. I'll take out the front lens element first, and then uh, followed by the rear one. Alright, so let's zoom it in a little bit. And so that you can see me working on this. <coughs> okay, let's go. So, um, taking out the screw here. What you need is one of those uh, jeweler screwdrivers, and the screw is really, really tiny. So I would actually recommend that you get one of these um, these boxes where you can put the screws in and uh, in the order they took them out, so that you you don't lose them. So you can take that tiny screw here and just dump it in here like that. And uh, so once you get the um, once you get that that part. Uh, that screw off you can then take off this by screwing it again um, you are going to um, need to unscrew it counterclockwise and uh, I've already loosened it and that's the reason why it was easy to take out so uh, yeah all right so there you go so this is the front um, lens element and uh, so it comes off you can actually take off this one as well even the front lens element actually has got two pieces of glass. It's one here, and there's no one here. So you can actually take it off. What you do is, if you look at the ring here, you can see the the Canon um, uh, ring, right? What you do is you you either you get a piece of rubber or you 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 stick some sticky tape around the side and you twist it counterclockwise. This entire black ring here will come off, and when the ring comes off, you can also take out the the glass the the glass elements here but you got to be very very careful because the moment you you unscrew this thing the entire glass element will just fall out so that um, I would advise putting it onto a, a, a soft cloth something like this before unscrewing and do it this way so that it falls out and the glass comes off and then scratch so be very careful not to scratch the the lens element all right so I'll put this here while I do the back now <coughs> So this is the inside of the lens element, and you can see how the, the aperture, see? So actually, technically speaking, you don't even have to remove the, the, the rear lens element. If you want to clean the, the lens, you might even be able to do it this way, yeah? But uh, I guess you, you wouldn't be able to get the whole, uh, the whole uh, piece of glass, but at least you, you, can clean the, you can clean the bits that are exposed to the film, yeah? So okay, so uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove this thing. So I'm gonna show it to you. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Okay. So here we go. So like what I mentioned, what you need is you, you would need one of these tools, yeah, and then you would stick it into the the hole here, because there are two slots. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, let's try to focus on it. Okay, I guess you can't quite see it. I'll try to show you. So, if you look here, again, it's not very clear, but if you look here, 
you can see it, there's a there's a slot here and there's another slot here so you just need um, to get to use that tool this one you just need to use this tool right it, or a, a pair of calipers or something like that and to turn it on the slots and just turn it counterclockwise so once you've loosened it this thing will come off all right just like that There we go. So once this piece comes off, right, you then can remove the lens element. So what you do is you turn the lens to infinity, all right. You turn the the <coughs> the aperture to infinity and the focus. Sorry, you sorry not the aperture. You turn the focus. You focus to infinity, which means that it hits the infinity lock, and then you can just pull the thing out like that. There you go. Then there you have it, the rear lens element. All right. Okay, before I go into this, let's take a look at this. So this is then just the metal shell that controls the focusing mechanism. Yeah. So there you go. So you can focus. Yeah. So this is it, it, there's no glass here. It's just the the lens um, body. And the gold part, the gold part, uh, it contains the thread for the focusing. So if you want to lubricate the lens, you just put a tiny bit of lubricant onto the, the gold thread here and then you just twist it um, clockwise counterclockwise to work the lubricant in and once you're done then basically that that's it you can also put a little bit here so as you can see as I'm focusing it goes in and out so you put a little bit of lubricant onto the gold ring, ring here and then you just turn it until it works in and out and uh, but just a tiny bit will do if not the focusing becomes too too soft <coughs> all right the next part that I want to show you is actually the, the rear lens element. <coughs> this one contains the aperture blades, right? So you can see that um, I can open and close the aperture. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So the way this works is that the aperture blades are held in place by this gold ring here. Okay? By this gold ring here. So do not do not remove uh, that that uh, that washer. Because if you remove it, all the aperture blades will, will come off, and then it, it's very difficult to put them back. In, in fact, I don't know how to do it, so I'm not even going to try. All right. Then, if you look here, this is how the the aperture gets adjusted. There is this um like a pin here. Again, I don't know if you can see it, but basically there's a pin here, and uh, it's held in place by these two claws and then it kind of turns the aperture so it, it opens and closes the aperture like that yeah it opens and closes the aperture like that by by the claw <coughs> um and the clicks right the clicks of the of the lens of the aperture are actually held in place by this little ball bearing here there's a very tiny ball bearing under here so if you lose this ball bearing you will lose the clicks basically it would um the, the, the lens aperture will just open and close like without stops it will not be be in stops it will just be you know loose yeah <coughs> and then okay uh, looking looking here you can see that there are some washers here as well see I can take out the washer so at least I'm going to remove the two washers well I'll remove one of them just to show you so this washer here this washer is for you to adjust the the focusing distance so if you find that your lens is uh, front or back focusing you could try to add or remove washers here to to uh, change the the distance so that you get um, uh, more accurate focusing yeah but of course if there's nothing wrong with your focusing don't mess with this if not it will you'll screw your focusing um, these washers are actually very very thin but you know they, they just that little bit is is enough to to like affect your focus you could you know put it off by quite a bit so you have to be quite careful about that okay the next part is that <coughs> if you look here at the rear element and you want to take out the rear element for cleaning right it's the same thing if you if you look at this um, there are also grooves here there's one groove here and another groove here so again you will need this kind of tool yeah to to twist it open so you put it in very carefully and be careful not to scratch the rear element and then um, you twist it counterclockwise and again once you've done that the entire rear element will come off and you can take it out for cleaning as well 
So if you want to clean the inside for fungus or whatever, that's what you would do. Yeah. And uh, you would also be able to clean the the oh actually that's it. Yeah. That there is no more. It's only one piece of glass in this. So it's just one piece of glass here, and once you remove this, you'll be able to clean it, clean the whole thing and and put it back. So there you go. So that's really, really simple. And okay, so for the aperture mechanism, if you if you were to remove the the, the ball bearing, right, and you remove the 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 claw and uh, the claw that's that's pulling it, you'll find that actually it doesn't have any friction at all. You're just able to turn it. So what I found in practice is that there is actually no need to lubricate um, this mechanism. There is no need to lubricate it because the the reason the, the thing that causes the stiffness of when when you're twisting the aperture ring right is actually just the uh, uh, what do you call it is actually just the the, the, the the ball bearing that that is uh, here that is causing the clicks right so actually there is um, how tight or loose your 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 clicks are actually just depends only on on um, how um, the, on the adjustment of the height of these two brackets, uh, these two screws here, yeah, this bracket thing that's holding the ball bearing. So if it's lower down, it's putting more pressure, right? The ball bearing is being pressed down harder against this, this, uh, uh, this plate here. So if this if this plate is is pressing down on the ball bearing and the ball bearing is then pressing down harder on this plate it would then be harder to turn the aperture ring all right but if this thing is higher up means it's exerting less pressure on the ball bearing then uh, it will be a lot easier to to turn the aperture ring so you just need to to get the right height once you get the right height your your aperture adjustment is uh, going to feel right it will not be too uh, too loose or it will not feel too tight all right so this is the the cause of problem and i found that you you don't really need to duplicate this uh, the other thing is that of course you know as with all lenses you shouldn't be seeing like oil on the on the blades of the of the aperture and so if you see like this it's fine all right there's no oil here it's dry and uh, you're able to turn it easily so don't touch it don't touch this this uh, do not remove that 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 washer if not you know you you're in for a lot of pain. I think you just have to send it in for the, somebody to get it replaced. All right, uh, to get it put back. <coughs> yep. So that's roughly it. Um, and then to put it back, of course, it's just the total reverse. So basically, to put it back, you, you just put this thing, right, and then you put it back together. And roughly, it would fit back. Uh, um, let me see. Be, yeah, there they go. There you go. So it went in. So you just turn it till it kind of goes in, and then. And then what you do is you put back this, you put this thing back in here, and then you turn it clockwise this time. So the rule is uh, lefty loosey, righty tighty, right? So you you turn it clockwise to the right to tighten it so that it doesn't fall out. Yeah. So obviously you have to tighten it all the way so that it uh, it uh, the lenses can be you know tight and you won't you won't have play in it. This is obviously too loose. That's the reason why you're getting this kind of play in the lens. So if if after putting it back, you're finding the lens is still very loose, it means that you, you haven't tightened this thing properly. And you have to remember that um, you would have to tighten it uh, first uh, 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 like this. And then later on, you would need to turn the focus back down so that there is more to go. All right? So you, you have to... First focus, uh, you put first put the focus at infinity and then tighten this ring and then after that put the focus all the way to the other end and then continue tightening it, alright? So, so you have to make sure that it's tight. <coughs> and then you can put back the front element now, right? So you put the front element like so, put it back in carefully and then screw it like that. Yeah. There you go, so you screw it. And once it's in, once it's in, you basically need to put back that tiny little screw that you took out earlier. Alright, that screw is really, really tiny, so please don't lose it. Yep, so you just put it back and then you're done. That's, that's, that's it. So your lens is back. Alright, so that's it. It's a very simple lens. Thank you.